Hey guys, we're back with another episode of Let's Play Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped. Started off Section 3 of the Time Twist area with Dynamite. Well, haven't we gotten far for a pair of fuzzy marsupials? I am Dr. Nefarious Trophy, master of time and the creator of the very Time Twister machine you see before you. Uka Uka and Dr. Cortex have sent me to end this little charade. So you won't be leaving my area with the crystals. I swear it. Alright, so this is the introduction game for Dr. N Trophy. And honestly, I felt like he should have been probably a little higher in terms of like the bosses we face, at least the order-wise. I feel like he probably should have been the uh the penultimate boss before cortex just because of the role he plays in like you know actually getting this whole scheme off the ground because after the first two games there's really no other power sources for them to use except to go back in time to before they were collected so dr entrophy is like a really important part of this so after like we take him out it really doesn't really make any sense of why the machine is actually still working at least working as well as it currently is. You know, from a story standpoint at least, in my opinion. But, it's whatever. This is, this is an old game, and I died there. And this is my least favorite level in this entire game. Hands down, I died the most playing this level. And I can't even get everything right now, so... What we're doing right now is mainly just focus on getting the crystal, and we'll have to come back later on once we have the yellow gem for this one. Um, as always guys, please let me know how your day is going down in the comments just below, and if you guys can help get these videos out there by sharing them, liking, subscribing, leaving a comment, it helps boost off. Um, at least my score for the YouTube algorithm so we can get more things so I can get more um, recognition in these videos so more people can see it and whatnot if you feel so inclined otherwise no big deal let's go ahead and continue on breaking all I don't really need to break all these boxes just because I can't really get the gem for breaking them, um, them anyway until we get the yellow gem but it does help boost up my lives in fact um, you kind of want to see like a mix of like uh, I've been so I had to do this level a couple of times because I did end up getting the game over because coming into it I didn't have that many lives so at one point it's going to be like maybe like two or three lives I have left and then all of a sudden I come back and I have like 30 something because I literally spent like 30 minutes grinding lives in the first two areas just so I, when I come back to this one I have plenty of room to stand on Hit these and avoid the nitro crates. And here's the real reason of why I kept dying. It's because after we get through this section, we're gonna have to be running away from a triceratops from going from uh, back to forth. Does that make sense? Yeah, that sounds about right. Anyway, another bonus stage, as always. There is no penalty if you die in these stages, you just get to start all over and in the checkpoint for the, um, to activate the bonus stages, act, uh, hitting the bonus stage point acts like a checkpoint, so if you die, they'll just come back right there and then. And for these crates over here, you kind of want to attack them from the sides, just because your ground pound move does set off like a little shockwave that attacks um, the rest, the remaining area that the other crates are touching. So we got roughly half of them right now, but we're going to need a lot more. So for the most part, let's just focus on making through this. Grab these Wumpa Fruits, so I can boost up my live counter. And let's just run. If you run in the water streams, it will make it faster. And I believe this level has a secret entrance for us for one of the um, bonus levels I mentioned prior in video one. No. Well, yes and no. It is in this level, but it's not in this section. 
the section that it does take place in it is going to be in the yellow gem path. And oh my god, this is. I really hate how they make you move so slowly in the little swamp mud area that we have in this level. But thankfully, we're done with it for now, but we'll have to come back later to get those other two clear gems once we got our purple one in hand. Yellow one in hand. So let's go ahead and. I think this is another underwater. Yep. Yeah. And this one, we'll actually be able to get this one. In fact, honestly, I think this one level is going to be the rest of this video just because of how much we have to do. So not only do we have to like get through the stage normally, but once we get to the very end, uh, we're going to activate a switch and we have to turn all the way back around to come back to a certain section to continue on to get to the other end of it, which holds the red gem for us to take. So yeah, this is probably going to be the rest of this video right here, so I apologize for that just because we didn't do a whole lot, but it's mostly because there's a lot going on in order to get, um, I want to say our first colored gem? Yeah, I think the red one is our very first one, and afterwards it's just a lot of us going back to previous stages to get um, other gems that we couldn't get before. So for the most part, what you're really going to want to do is let's just take your time, go nice and slow, Pay attention to where things are, and pfft, don't do what I'm doing. Please, please don't do what I'm doing. I'm playing very stupidly, and it, this could have gone a lot faster if I just paid more attention. Because honestly, I think this is like 30 minutes worth of footage before I cut it down to like minimize how many on-screen deaths I had. That could have easily been prevented for me learning from my previous mistakes and just you know, taking the time to go slow and take it nice and easy, you know. Don't go too fast. Don't go too furious. Just stay curious. I don't know why I needed to make that rhyme. I felt it. It was necessary. Call it to the other side. But the shark got way too close for my comfort. Thankfully, we are able to kill them. Oh, these are the most annoying things about this level, the freaking, I don't know, propellers on the bottom of the seafloor. I don't have, there's no reason for them to be there, but they will suck you in if you get too close. And it is, God, so much death. And it is a pretty much um, a killing blow for you if you don't have a mask, which it makes no sense why. Like literally all I do is just twirl you around that honestly it shouldn't kill you, but I hate that they do. Those mines are a little too close. Uh, make sure you pay attention to when you're going down these two, these tunnel-like sections over here, because this is where we have missed a box before in a previous video. So I'm making sure that every time we go down onto another platform of boxes that we thoroughly are destroying all of them. This checkpoint. And just watch to see where the turbines have stops. Got a crystal. Keep making our way through. Gotta watch our timing for these. And the section over here to the right is where we need to come back once we go ahead and hit the switch at the very end of the level on this first pathway. Keep on going nice and slow. I'm gonna wait just because I don't want to take any chances while I'm right there at the checkpoint. There we go. Grab this so we can make our journey a little bit easier. Start destroying things in our way. Make sure we break this so we can get the box hidden underneath the coral. Just shoot anything that moves and anything that doesn't move because we need to get our collectibles. Oh, just stay down. Oh my gosh. That's annoying too, because I need that. So I'm just gonna let myself die, just because I can't really destroy the other things I need to if I, if I don't have that going into certain parts of this level. Let's go ahead and do this part again.
Oh, well, these crates. I need to kill both these sharks right away. And if I can, I want to try to shoot the nitro from behind here. And I do come back and get those that crate that we missed in the curl over there. Well, I'm going to try to at least. So there we go. The first switch has been hit. So now we just need to go back. To be honest, I don't really know how that counted. Because I did just completely leave that box alone, so I don't know how it counts for me at the very end. Oh, it's because I died right here. That's why. Interesting. I'm surprised they didn't cut that one out. Oh well, too late. Just staying in. If anything, I could shave this part down. Alright, so we got the switch hit again, so let's make our way back. Careful not to let any of the turbines get us sucked in. Got all the enemies out the way before, before we lost our little mini sub shooter. I don't really know what it's called, except this pufferfish did come back for some reason. But it's not enough to really make a difference. Come back down here to the right, and we just need to touch the TNT crate over here to set off a little reaction. Should be obvious, don't spin into it. And it's going to destroy the lower area for us so we can continue. Hit this checkpoint, and we're all we're home we're home free now at this point. Just keep on going down, hitting whatever crates we got left, and oh my god, there was a puffer fish over here. But it's fine. It's fine. We got a checkpoint. Avoid those nitro cart crates. If I can move, there we go. Just avoid these ones over here. We just got a few more traps left to navigate through, and then we're done. Now to the very bottom, deal with the shark. And for safety, I'm just going to touch the TNT crate and then go away. You know, I lose some fruit, it's fine as long as I got through safely without dying and having to go back to redo any of this. Wait for these to go through, activate the Snitro, grab our clear gem, and grab our red gem. And that's everything. Go ahead and finish off the stage. Okay, I, I wasn't fully wrong. It took up a bigger chunk than I thought, but not as much as I thought it was going to be. So overall, we did a really good haul in Deep Trouble and got everything done right off the bat in one square swoop. It did take a bunch of lives, but we got through it. So what, we only got two more levels left until we deal with Entropy? Oh, three more. High time. Oh my god. This one is really annoying when it came to getting a gold relic. So, you pesky little rats aren't going to back off, eh? Just you continue to gather crystals and see what I do. I mean, it's what we do. Special Gen lies at the end of the death route. So, this is one of the ones where we just have to reach a certain point of the level without dying and the purple gem will be all of ours and that's another one that we needed in order to unlock another gem path back in dingo dial's level that took place in um egypt i keep forgetting the name of it but we'll be going back there in a little bit we literally just there like i believe in the last episode go ahead and get all these boxes so the death routes aren't nearly as bad as it would sound. All you just have to do is make it to that section without dying. And for the most part, there shouldn't really... I want to say there's like, there's two check mark crates before them. So this is the first one and then there's just one more and then boom, we're there. So if you can like reach it to the bonus level, section of this level, you're pretty much golden, because those don't count if you die there. 
in terms of if you die during the special stage, I should say. But if you do happen to die before you reach it, then the area for the death route will just be grayed out, and you'll just have to restart the level again in order to get through it. So, even though I died right here, well, since I died right there before, um, we're pretty much done now with the death route. Can't make it over there, so we'll have to do it again. But I did plan on having to do this level again anyway, so it's not a big deal. In fact, I want to say I do come back to do this later on. Just because... I want to say the death route here doesn't even have um, crates that we have to get in order to get like the clear gem. Because I think the death route is solely for the purple gem. So while we're going through right now, we can focus on getting the crystal and the clear gem by destroying the other crates. If I'm remembering it correctly. So just utilize a double jump in our body slam in order to get all these crates. And of course a double jump. And mainly want to destroy these top crates just because it doesn't give you much room to navigate through it if you're going through and hitting both the top and bottom at the same time. So that's why I'm trying to destroy those so I can just focus on getting the bottom ones out of my way. And there we go. Nope. There we go. Screw that one. Boom. There we go. We got 54 out of 85. Go ahead and grab our crystal and our checkpoint. And again, hindsight, hindsight, just sliding is enough to take those guys out. So there goes where the death route platform would be. You have to reach there without dying, but since we did. Fortunately blocked off for me for right now, but it's fine. It's fine. We'll be coming back at a later time to get our purple gem. Now let's focus on getting the ones that we can get. If I can make this dang jump. There we go. Thankfully, these ones aren't nearly as annoying as it was in the original Crash Bandicoot when we were going up uh, Cortex's castle in the first game. And I'll let those explode. I don't really need those wampus. And I always hate the the view for the platforming in this one just because the shadow isn't as heavy or as defined as it is in later games, where it makes it like easier to tell where you're going to land. So it feels like I'm taking like a 50-50 chance of if I'm actually going to land on this platform or not. Just wait for this guy to stop throwing his dang scimitars. Come out in the way. I want to avoid spitting into all these just because there is a TNT crate over there. Get out of harm's way. Do it you. And I'll let these TNT crates take care of the monkey this time. Just because he's going to come back with the flash radius. And we'll just go ahead and grab our remaining. Crates over here. I don't know why I thought there was a secret area behind over there. There goes our clear gem. And that is it for this level 4 right now. I think I do show me coming back into it right away. That's because it's one of the easier ones to get to, so I might as well do it while we're here. Well, Coco can't do Road Crash. Crash has to. Okay, maybe I'll do that in the next video then.
Alright, so let's prioritize getting the crates done first, and then I'll do the, um, the crystal one, probably starting off in the next video. This is where, um, the other special secret stage is. Once you get to this left-hand side over here, past this diner, there's going to be an alien sign. Uh, just hit that sign, and it'll lead you to a secret level. But I won't be getting into those. I won't be like doing those ones until like part 11. Yeah, part 11, which will be like the last video for this series. So, let's take it nice and slow. Do all these crates. Afterwards, we should be done with part four. So we're roughly getting close to the halfway point. Got this crate, and up. Oh, I should have hopped over, but it doesn't matter. Uku, Uku, or Aku Aku will bring me over here where I need to be. Get these clusters of four. Uh, something I learned about this later on, um, when there are crates in front of, like, the boost pad, prioritize going onto the boost pad because that will actually kind of line you up to where you need to be to hit them. Otherwise, you run the risk of, you know, only hitting a few or not hitting the whole bundle that you're trying to get. Go ahead and jump over this car. Grab you. And, yep, I just stopped to break to line myself up. Just so I was absolutely certain I was going to get all of them. But, I probably could have got them all anyway if I just hit the acceleration block. Or, boost pad, like I was just talking about. At this point, I don't even care if I'm in last. The main thing that matters is me getting the clear gem for this right away. So I don't have to worry about that moving forward. I'm just start next video, do this fine, perfectly, get first place, don't have to worry about it. So, first half of it's done, got our clear gem, and that is going to be it for today's video. So, thank you guys for watching this episode of Let's Play Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped. Um, if you guys liked the video, give the video a like, leave a comment, all those good things I'm going to say at the end of these videos, and let me know how your day is going down in the comment section below. Until then, uh, you guys take care, and I'll see you guys in part 5. Crash Bandicoot!